Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Techway. Today's video, we're going to be adding an extra hard drive into the Cooler Master HAF XB EVO case. Um, this is my personal rig I, I've been using for several years. Uh, I'm running out of storage space on my hard drives. And uh, once I got into it, I noticed that there was only two bays for hard drives. So I had to do a little bit of uh, unorthodox uh, figuring on mine to get the third drive into it. But stay tuned and I'll show you how you can fit three drives into this uh, cube case. I'll be right back. Alright all, like I said in the intro, um, today we're going to be adding some extra storage to this Cooler Master case. Um, I got one terabyte mass storage drive which is just about full. I need some more storage. So we're going to be adding in this here three terabyte. Um, with the videos and whatnot that I've been making, it's been taking up a lot of my storage space. So I, I think this uh, three terabyte should last me quite a while, but we'll see. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you need to do, I've already got the thumb screws removed from the case. You need to, uh, once you remove the thumb screws, slide back the panels and pull them off. I, uh, you can probably do it with just removing the side panels. But I'll remove that top one, that way I can get some light in there. It's one thing I really don't like about this case. It's only got room for two drives in it. And of course this is going to be my third drive. Um, I'm not recommending this. But this is about the only way I can figure out how to do it. Um, I'm going to have to put my solid state drive. I'm going to actually put it back here in the back. Well, you'd normally have an 80 millimeter fan here in the back. I'm going to be putting my solid state drive back there because it's only got room for two drive cages. So this case really ain't set up for more than two drives. But I really don't want to pull out that one, that one terabyte drive either. I'm going to use that for personal storage, not company storage. Um, what are you going to need for the job? We need the number two Phillips screwdriver, mag magnetic tip. You're going to need your hard drive which is a three terabyte. We're gonna have to add a SATA cable and I'm gonna have to have a couple of screws, a couple of these wee little screws for my uh, solid state drive because it ain't gonna be in a sled no more. Which the SATA cable and the screws should be in your hardware that came with the case. So uh, let's get started, it's pretty simple. Uh, you unplug, I'm going to put it where my solid state drive is now, so I'm just going to unplug my solid state drive. I'm going to pull out the sled that it's in. And if you remember, they got the rails that goes on three and a half inch drives. So it's going to be pretty simple. There's my solid state drive connected to my sled, which I won't need the sled. Pull out, your, pull out your three terabyte hard drive, pull it out of the bag, you put the sleds in the mounting holes for your three and a half inch drive. You want to make sure your connectors are facing the right way when you put these uh, rails on, which will be out towards the side of the case, not towards the inside of the case. Put them on, we're going to slip that one. Right there where the solid state drive was. Push it in and it locks. Alright, that wasn't too bad to mainly put the hard drive in. Now, to do the cabling for this. I looked at this offline um, because it's a little complicated in this case. It's going to be kind of hard to uh, figure out where go, you know, how to run the cables through this case. I'm going to take another side of cable here for the uh, data transfer and we're going to run it up through here and I'm going to take it and this, since this is going to be hooked up my solid state drive I want to take the cable that's in port zero and I'm going to move it over into port two now why I'm doing that is because I want port zero to be my boot drive which is still going to be my solid state drive the new cable I'm gonna put in the port zero. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, 
hook up the data for the new three terabyte hard drive. And that's the same cable that was already ran that was running off the solid state drive. Now to hook up the solid state drive, we need to take it out of the caddy. And just pull it off the caddy. And yes, guys, this is still the same SSD I started out with. This SSD is probably, probably five, six years old now. It's an Intel 240 gig, uh, 730 series. Don't know if it's quite the fastest drive anymore, but still does what I need it to do. I'm going to have to unhook the power cable from the drive because I'm going to have to move that power cable around. I'm going to pull it on over here some. Yeah, let's see here. I'm going to take this hair connector. Since I had an extra side of power on this connector, on this cable, I don't have to add an extra power connector cable. Plug that one in. And we're going to plug this one in. All right. And with it out of the case, I'm going to hook up my power connector. This new SATA data wire that I've plugged in, which is plugged into the port that I want. That way my uh, SSD is still my main boot drive. And with that connected, all right, guys. Since I got the since I got the wires connected to my solid state drive, I'm gonna put it here inside. I'm gonna take and put one screw I would not suggest doing this with a regular hard drive with solid state drives it really don't matter a whole lot to it that's why I'm using the two and a half drive on the side because it is solid state I'm gonna put one right there in that mounting hole for that fan and the other one is going to actually have to go through this vent hole for the fan. But the head of the screw is big enough to where it's going to catch, so it'll hold it nice and nice and secure for me. All right, guys. Since that's done, I'm going to push all the cables in here the best that we can. What's the wire management on this case? You know, it's a cube case, so all the wires kind of get shoved in down at the bottom. We're going to put the side panels back on in here. But you're superstitious, you ain't supposed to do this till you file the PC up, but. It's always worked before, so I don't see why it ain't gonna work this time. Since we got three panels on this one, we're gonna have six thumb screws that we're gonna have to put back in. There's two per panel, two on each side, and the uh, two for that top panel that I pulled off. Being a cube case, you you know, it's nice to have that top panel off where you can have as much light as possible. The more light, the better, I say. I like to see what I'm doing. Don't like guessing. All right, guys. That pretty well put. That pretty well finishes up the hardware installation of it. Um, I'll be right back after I get the system hooked up and whatnot, and I'll show you how to allocate that drive and get it to where you can actually start putting information on it. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now since you've seen how I did the uh, hard drive placement in the in the case, and you've seen how I had to reroute the cables and how I uh, put the SSD someplace where it ain't meant to be, but you know, when you only have two drive bays and you have three uh, three drives you want to install, sometimes you have to do what you gotta do. So anyways, now let's look into our file manager. As you can tell by looking at the file manager, 
Ah, uh, let's see here. Right down here, you got the C drive. Right there's my C drive, which that's my SSD. Then you got the Mass One storage drive. Okay, and that G drive, that's out of my video. That's out of my camera. So we won't be looking at the uh, the G drive. But as you can tell, this here's my one the uh, one terabyte mass storage drive here, which this is why I'm adding. This is why I'm adding more storage to it. I'm just about full. I'm down to less than 300 gigs of space on it. And here is my SSD, which is my main boot drive. You can see that it's pretty well about half full, a little better than half full. But you don't see the new 3 terabyte drive we put in. And uh, why this is is because it is seen in the BIOS of the motherboard. Windows recognizes it, but it has to be initialized yet. So we're going to go down here to our search window. We're going to type in control panel. Pops up. We're going to open it up. We're going to go to systems and security. Down here under administrative tools, you go over here, it says create and format hard drive partitions right here. You click on it. This little window will pop up. Give it a second. Alright, and right off the top it says uh, initialize disk. Disk 1 is not formatted yet, which is the 3 terabyte hard drive. Uh, we're going to go with the GPT. We're going to hit OK. And let us do its thing here. Once that's done, it says unallocated. You have to right click on it. Go down to new simple volume. A wizard pops up. Uh, the wizard will help you create a simple volume on this disk. Click next. Maximum drive space and megabytes. Uh, minimum disk space. Simple volume. It selects the whole thing. That's fine for what I want to use it for. Assign a letter. And we've already got a C drive. We got a D drive. So the next one will be E drive. I'm happy with that. So we're going to hit next. Uh, choose whether you want, want to format the volume. If so, what settings do you want to use? I just leave them as is. Uh, besides the volume label here, we're going to put the 3 terabyte. Put 3 terabyte in there. That way, whenever it shows up, you know what drive you're looking at. You can, you can name that anything you want, but that's just the way I'm going to do mine. Complete new simple volume wizard. And you just verify everything you want. You know, it's disk 1, the space, the drive letter. It's formatting uh, in NTFS, which is fine. Allocated space is uh, the default, which is fine. Volume label, 3 terabyte. That's what I put in. And we're just going to click next and let's do this thing. Now, as you can see, it's saying formatting. All right, there we go. There's the new 3 terabyte hard drive already done. It's already formatted it. Now it's 3 terabyte E drive. The health. Uh, healthy primary partition of it and that's the way you go in and allocate the new uh, that's the way you go in and allocate the new new drive that you just installed in your system now it shows up under your uh, folder manager you got your C drive you got your D drive and you got your 3 terabyte drive which is completely empty that ain't gonna last long I'm going to start transferring some files over into it and whatnot and getting it used up. All right, all. And that's the way you allocate your new hard drive. You just uh, install your, into your case. Um, that's the way you install. Like I showed you, you know, this case has only got two drive bays. I've got three drives now. So I had to improvise on the way I did it. Um, I improvised a solid state drive because solid state, it is a solid state. You know, mechanical hard drive, you can do that with mechanical hard drive, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if this was a customer system, I would ask them if it was all right for me to do something like this to the system because it ain't actually the right way of doing it. Um, again, with that being a solid state drive, you could put some two-sided tape on and slap it anywhere inside the case or whatever, you know, and you'd be perfectly fine with it because it's solid state because there's no moving parts inside of it. I hope you found this uh, video a little helpful or gave you some insight on how how you have to modify from time to time to uh, get everything you need into a system. 
the ideal the ideal of it would be to upgrade your case uh, which the case is fine I like the hot swappable bays on it and whatnot it ain't worth me putting another 50 60 bucks into a different case so uh, that's the way I did my solid state drive you know it is what it is um, I hope you found a little bit of helpful information in this video if you did give me a thumbs up share it with anybody that you think would uh, be interested in the information in this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button that way you can be notified next time I put out videos which I'm hoping to start doing it pretty regular a couple times a week at least I got a lot of things in my mind that I want to start putting out on YouTube um, until next time you guys be safe and you have a good day